Bella Budman here with just the bear facts, the very latest on this black bear saga out of Longwood. Do you believe what's going on here? They have now, according to DNA testing, caught the bear that attacked the woman who was walking her dog in a neighborhood off Markham Woods Road. She was seriously injured. She continues to recover in the hospital. We wish her the very best. But Florida Fish and Wildlife, they just continue to blow my mind with how they are handling this situation. And the whole policy toward wild animals and attacks on human beings in the state of Florida has to be re-examined and changed, and I think probably some heads have to roll. Here's the deal. They caught the bear, okay? But they're not going to execute this bear. They're sending this bear and her cubs off to Bush Gardens, not for public view, but to hold them there until they release them into the wild at some point, some other place. But here's the absurdity. Remember, in early December, they caught not one but two bears. They said, pretty much matched the description of the bear that attacked the woman, and they executed the bears immediately. Then did DNA testing later and showed they had absolutely nothing to do with the attack on the woman. This is the height of insanity. We've got to talk to the people. We've got to get in touch with the people at Florida Fish and Wildlife, at the commission here. And you've you got you to get them on the phone and grab them by the lapels and say, what in the world are you people doing? This policy makes absolutely no sense. And what has just happened is the height of absurdity, and it's obscene. And that's what I think. What do you think? Join me for the next edition of Butthead and Go Live right here on FM 104.5 AM 540 WFLA. I'll look for you then.